Hello, Gary Hernandez here, and welcome to King Self Defense and Master Gary Hernandez. In this video, I want to go over a king that I don't talk a lot about. Um, I had a gentleman, you know, shot me an email. And he says you talk a lot about the traditional style kings with the crook, the horn, which curved. You talked about the derby style, English style, with the handles are nice and we can put your palm and rest it. But I don't ever see you talk much about solid ball weight type handle. Now, it's kind of a reason, and, and I really should go over more with this cane and what you can do and, and not do with it. I only have one like this, and this was a gift, and it's a nice looking cane, but I'm gonna tell you my personal opinion why I'm, I'm not a major fan of carrying this style cane versus carrying this style. And again, my opinion, because I know there's people out there that really do like this kind of cane, and that's great. And I'm gonna show you what you can and cannot do self-defense-wise with this kind of cane. Now, like I said, this was a gift from a student, and it is a really cool looking cane. And if you notice, yes, it has a skull. Now, this is solid, solid weighted skull. The cane itself is not wooden, it's a kind of a fiber or polymer. It's really strong, but it's not a wooden cane. It has small rubber tip on the bottom. So when you're walking, your hands on top of the skull head, you can walk and it does support a lot of the weight nicely. <clears throat> now, I'll tell you the things that I'm not a major fan about this cane. And what it is, is I also collect canes. So I have a lot that I collect, and I have several that I take out when I go somewhere. Well, number one, I know I'm not gonna get on an airplane with this. And they're probably gonna take it away from me. Now, I'm not 100% say they're going to, but I'm pretty sure they would. And if there's people that have the rounded canes that are getting on and they're not taking them out, let me know. Now this one here with the skull on it, and it's so heavy, it kind of screams I'm gonna hit somebody. Maybe it's to me because of the skull, it just screams like I can do damage. And like I said, this cane, it's very top heavy. If I start to relax my hand, that weight drops. I did not weigh it, I'm sorry, I should get to weight it and give you an exact weight, but it's pretty, pretty heavy on the, the handle area. So now, the second thing I'm not a major fan, it screams attention because it's shiny. You know, yes, the shaft is black, <clears throat> but the handle's shiny. So when I'm walking, the daytime sun shines off it pretty easily. Now, <clears throat> I've seen a lot of different handles before where <clears throat> they have rounded handles where some have like an eight ball, cue ball, any kind of pull, you know, ball on their different numbers. I've seen where they've had like the planet Earth or Mars looking type handles and I've seen some that came up a little bit around it and they had a compass on the top built into it then I've seen the ones where you can unscrew them and you can pull a little glass tube out for your cigar um, I saw one that had a little whiskey flask into it and a lot of them as we've seen those novelty ones the sword comes out so obviously you're probably not get on a plane with those but so besides not being able to get on a plane and kind of screaming look at me look at me I don't really like carrying it that much. Um, walking with it, you know, my hand covers the entire skull. Now, unlike the regular canes that I like to walk with, where the you know crook comes over and I can hold that and it's kind of comfortable, or whether if I have the derby style cane where I can put my palm comfortably and rest it. This one, you, it's your hand just opens up and goes right over there. Now, it's, it's not a problem really. I just, you know, I'd rather have the other type handles. Now going into, if I'm walking somewhere, now because this is a hard metal, in the summertime, if it's 95 something degrees, if the sun hits this, this is gonna get warm. And in the winter, if I was in Michigan, and let's say it was like five degrees, and you don't have gloves on, your hand's gonna freeze on it. So, but I'm sure that's also the same with brass. Anything that's gonna get metal, it's gonna get cold and super hot. 
So that's another thing why I like the wood better. Now, let's get into a little bit of the self-defense part of it. Now, because it is top heavy, if I swing with the skull, and number one, it'll drop real easy to the bottom, and I can swing pretty good with it, but because of the weight of it, it is a little slower when I'm swinging it hard versus me swinging a regular wooden cane. Now, if I'm swinging more with the tip end, it's faster. I don't think it's, it's gonna be any faster than my wooden ones. Um, even though this is thin, it moves quicker on this end, obviously, more than this end because of the weight. And it's strong enough to where I can do some injuries. If I'm going to the head, collarbone, if I'm doing a double bayonet strike, if I got it the other way, obviously, the ball weight's gonna cause more injury and cause more damage when I'm hammering down on something. So that part I do like. But <clears throat> it's gonna be a little slower for me, I feel. And also, it might actually cause more damage than I'm wanting to do. Even though if I'm pulling my power because it's a lot more solid. Now, not to mention if I hit it with certain areas, it might leave, you know, marks that can come back to me. Not that I'm going to hide from, you know, if someone attacks me, I'm going to report it. But, you know, yeah, all of a sudden they have an indentation of a teeth from a skull. Just match that right up. So, again, not a big fan. But it will do all the same strikes, all the same blocks. You know, and I've talked about taking impact. I don't just stand there. I redirect it and then I counter. So I can do every block and strike I do with the cane, I can do with this. Oh, I'm sorry, with a regular crook or derby saw, I can do with this. Where it comes into a major difference, obviously, I can't hook anybody. You know, unlike with this cane, you know, you can hook the neck, you can hook an arm, you can hook a leg. Even with a derby style, I had that little bit of area where I can hook somebody, pull down and hook a leg. Can't do it with this one here. With the round cane, I can't do it. Now, yes, you can manipulate through the arms this way or manipulate through the legs, but you can't just do the good old fashioned hook and pull towards you. So you lose all the benefits of that. Now, for striking, if I had to strike all, you know, tip on the floor try, you know, kind of striking and I can't chamber down and I'm going to go from the get-go. When I'm holding my traditional cane, it doesn't feel bad. Even though I don't have the strength that I have for that, it's still a pretty quick hit. Now, on this one, it's a quick hit, but because I have a, instead of having the grip, and I'm going to try to show you what I mean, instead of having my grip here when I'm striking, my grip is like this. So when I'm striking, I can feel it wanting to turn in my hands or I'm going to go through my fingers. So yes, you can do it, but you might lose your cane because I'm not striking that hard. And so it's easier to chamber down and strike. So that's another thing I wouldn't do is just shoot from the hip with a swing. But overall, it's not a bad cane. I really should give it some more street time and get familiar with walking and using it. But basically, I am a major fan of basically more of a crook and one where I can do other stuff. Now, like I said, there's tons of different styles of this. If you happen to have, and you're a fan of the canes where the, um, the handles are round, let me know. Let me know. Tell me what kind you have. Tell me what you think the pros and cons for you are. Remember, it doesn't matter what somebody else thinks. What do you think? I'm just giving you my opinion. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that love this style of cane out there. And again, I should give it some more evaluation and kick the tires on it so I can be more fair instead of just giving... You know, what I like the most, I need to learn to spread out and, and enjoy other canes, and which I'm going to do. But again, like I said, fast that way. Here, a little bit slower because of the weight. 
but it will definitely do some damage. So tell me about your cane. I want to know if you have, I know you can't put pictures on YouTube. You can't send me a picture. And I also do put this on Facebook. On Facebook, in the comments, you can send me a picture. Um, you, know, you go to YouTube, you're watching the video. But if, you, if, it's on, if you're watching it through Facebook, come off the YouTube portion. And on Facebook comments, you can send me a picture. And I'd like to see what kind of uh, cool style handle you guys have. And then tell me whether you like this kind of a handle or you don't. Gary Nash, thank you very much. I look forward to reading your comments, and I will talk to you guys very soon.